Well, good morning. And thank you for joining us here at Steve Cox Memorial Park. You know, the park's namesake, Deputy Steve Cox, embodied the best characteristics you could imagine in a public servant. Uh, he was a local kid, grew up right over here in Shoreline, Evergreen High School, served as a deputy prosecutor and then as a, as a sheriff's deputy. He had a dedication to this community. And that's the kind of dedication that we appreciate in all of our law enforcement employees and all of our staff. Commitment to service. Um, and as you can see from his memorial on these grounds, he carried this idea that one person can make a genuine difference in their community. That idea that we can work together to create fundamental change is really at the core of why we're here today. In 2020, the voters passed a charter amendment to return the King County Sheriff to being an appointed position. No more politics, no more campaigns, no more of that division within the office. It's going to be an opportunity to appoint a leader accountable to the county executive, confirmed by the county council, and dedicated to serving the community. And over the last several months, we've engaged in an extensive interview process, a national search with uh, 12 candidates ultimately that we went down to and then three highly qualified finalists. They met with the Public Safety Advisory Committee, with reform advocates, with community members, and with our Sheriff's Office staff to hear their priorities for the next Sheriff. Now throughout the process from the Charter Amendment vote 18 months ago up until today, the fundamental goal has been the same, to change and improve the way we deliver public safety for the people of King County. Transparency, accountability, the idea that we can make tomorrow better than today. Those are the goals in our work to reimagine public safety and the task at hand for our new sheriff. In the interviews, virtually all the candidates uh, came from a career law enforcement background, as you'd expect. But in this moment, to deliver and create change, it became clear that a broader perspective would be helpful, maybe even necessary. We need a sheriff who can chart a new course. Someone who can demonstrate the ability to work together, to be a bridge between the rank and file and the people we serve. Someone who will lead the department into this next chapter. And so I'm extremely pleased to announce that I am appointing Patty Cole Tyndall to be the next sheriff of King County. She has served in law enforcement, including as the under sheriff and as our interim sheriff. With more than 30 years public service experience, so she knows how to lead an organization, an organization like the Sheriff's Office, but she also led our Office of Labor Relations, and she also led the Office of Law Enforcement Oversight. I imagine you'll be hard pressed to find another chief or sheriff around the country who has also led the Police Oversight Office. Well, at the beginning of this year, I appointed Patty to serve as interim sheriff because she had the experience to guide the agency through turbulent times. And she embodies the principles that we were seeking in a sheriff. And while she has had the helm, she has demonstrated, not just to me, but to our employees at the sheriff's office and to our community, that she is an effective leader and an effective agent for change. I've asked Patty to serve because she shares my vision for a more equitable, more racially just King County, a county that creates genuine public safety and delivers on our commitment to protecting the rights and liberties of every resident. Already as our interim sheriff, she's been an invaluable partner, aiding in the transition for the office and improving morale in the ranks. But having the sheriff's office in a better place is not just about morale. It is about renewing the commitment to making a difference in the lives 
of the people we serve, all the people, and of having that genuine commitment then reflected back by the community to the people providing the service. It is about making change even when it's difficult because that's when it's needed most. So after a very robust search, and I am grateful to everyone in our community who participated in that, from reform advocates to law enforcement officers uh, to our cities and, uh, and to just folks on the street. It has truly been a remarkable process. I think we have found the right person to lead the King County Sheriff's Office and help usher in the change we seek. So it is my pleasure to introduce that person to you, your next King County Sheriff, Patty Cole Tyndall.